Hello everyone, my name is Christian from Tradevola, Trading with Know-how and Transparency. After we didn't post any longer video for a few weeks, we want to discuss today a really new topic, what everyone is discussing at the moment, it's uh, stocks related to artificial intelligence and we want to present our best stocks uh, for the next few months or even the next uh, years related to artificial intelligence. And if you don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos, just make sure to subscribe here to our channel. I would be happy about every support and um, now we want to see what are the details what we want to discuss today. First of all, like I said, we want to discuss uh, stocks itself. Then we want to discuss some uh, details about um, AI stocks in general, what is important to know, what are differences between these um, stocks. And then also we want to present some ETFs, some really high volume ETFs uh, related to artificial intelligence. So instead of buying maybe a single stock, you can also choose one of these ETFs. Now let's have a look at the screen and I want to present you here the details about all these stocks what we discuss. Yeah, first we want to start with the stocks or companies which are related to artificial intelligence and first of all I think one stock what was um, a lot in the news in the last day especially after the earnings were announced it's NVIDIA it's known for its powerful graphic processing units and has made significant advancements in AI applications particularly in deep learning and autonomous vehicles so that's I think a sehr, very interesting um, stock even we can see it here on the right hand side in the weekly chart it went especially in this year quite up a lot more than 150 percent the next stock you also might know it's uh, alphabet i think here we still have a good potential especially if we have a look here on the right hand side in the weekly chart there's still a long way to go till the all-time high from the corona years uh, 2021 or like after the corona years here alphabet is really heavily investing in uh, google brain and also involved in various other ai projects including natural language processing machine learning algorithms and also autonomous driving technology so i think this is a very interesting stock connected to AI. Amazon, I think also everyone knows it's the same story from the chart. The highest um, prices what we had here in 2021, there's um, still a long way to go. Can be quite a good investment. Amazon has integrated AI in many um, services as Alexa or Amazon Web Services and the company also offers AI tools and services to for developers and uh, businesses. Um, so yeah from the chart itself it can be still a good investment but i think there is better stock for portfolios um, connected to ai for example we have microsoft i think most of you already use chat gpt what is here also a service uh, from microsoft and there's also various other ai products uh, products uh, what microsoft is offering from the chart itself it went also up quite a lot especially in this year we are almost near the all-time high from 2000, from the end of 2021. So Microsoft also very interesting investment in connection to AI stocks. IBM, the chart itself doesn't look really is so interesting, especially if we have a look here on a weekly chart. It looks like a really sideways uh, movement for the last few years, but it can be also a good chance if you get a good price or get it on a lower level that you can later on sell it to a much higher level. IBM has a long-standing presence in the AI space. Its flagship is Watson, well known for its natural language processing and machine learning capacities. IBM offers also solutions for business and multiple industries. So I think, yeah, comparing to the other charts what we saw before, also not so interesting. But Tesla can be another good option. I think Tesla also known from most of you, um, especially here. AI is in self-driving technology use. I think can be also a good chance uh, for the future, especially here. We have still a good price level. It was already at the end of 2021 
at almost $400. So it's um, at the moment uh, around $200, what can be still a good price to invest in Tesla stocks. And the last one, I think it's the maybe the stock what is not so well known with the symbol PANW. It's Palo Alto Networks. It's a leading in cybersecurity and provides network security solutions um, to organizations um, worldwide. So I think these are the stocks, the big players um, connected to AI. There are many more stocks, um, but when it comes to volatility and risk, I think it's always um, good to have a look at the most interesting or the most well-known stocks here in this field. And the characteristics of AI stocks, uh, they differentiate in, in all the fields. As we saw already, NVIDIA is more focused on GPUs used in AI trainings. And um, for example, Alphabet and Microsoft, they have uh, applications based on AI. In other um, stocks, it's used in um, medical devices. So there's a different product offerings depending on the company. So this is one big thing. Also, there's an industry focus some AI companies concentrate on specific industries or verticals. Well, for example, IBM, significant presence in healthcare and finance. That's something what you always need to check if you want to dive deeper in this field. But also research and development is a very interesting field, what especially for Alphabet, like we said it earlier, is super interesting in Google Brain. And another focus on more commercializing existing AI te technologies, uh, what Google really invests, uh, Alphabet uh, invests a lot of money at the moment. Financial performance, how to get revenues and profitability and grow rates out of it. I think that's just the beginning at the moment, like especially for Alphabet, it's interesting because it's investing a lot of, um, in this field, but the revenues and the growth might come much later. So that's why I think it's still a good chance. We are still at the beginning for you to invest in your portfolio in some of these stocks. There is still a huge growth potential, especially if it's benefit from the growth and the transformation in the technology. It can be really going rapidly, expanding in many fields. So it's good to be present and uh, to have some stocks in your portfolio. Market demand as well. At the moment, high, high demand to automate processes and improve efficiency. So I think in the future we will see more companies and different solutions what use AI technologies to improve their processes and to automate everything as much as possible. And the innovation and technology leadership in AI, I mean, um, the big companies, that's what I say, they are, have an advantage at the moment, but other companies, I think they can also compete and try to find similar solutions. So, um, like I said, in the beginning, it's also good to have a look at some other stocks. Um, I think one of the most well-known at the moment is C3.ai, what has also huge volatility, especially when we can have a look here from May till from beginning of May till end of May, it was uh, yeah almost 150% same what we saw here in NVIDIA. So there's a huge potential. And if you don't want to decide which of these um, stock to put in your portfolio because you're not sure um, or you don't have so much cash left to buy different stocks, I think it's always a good choice to go to different ETFs. And we want to highlight here one of the four biggest ETFs, the first one with the symbol DOTZ is Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. As you can see, chart on a daily or also on a weekly basis is similar to what we saw in Google or what we saw in Tesla. We had the highest uh, prices here at the end of 2021. Then last year, 2022, was not really a good year, but it gives you, especially now, a chance to buy it still on a good price level. For example, here are 44 different stocks included, and NVIDIA is one of them. We showed you the chart and the company earlier. Second ETF with almost 80 stocks included. Of course, this can change depending on the ETF management, but Robo Global 
Robotics and Automation Index ETF on the chart itself, similar what we saw already. But um, yeah, this year looks like a good year, especially here in January. The stock went up or the ETF went up quite well. Different here. Uh, the difference here is that you have almost double of the stocks included than in the comparing to the first ETF, what we showed you in the beginning. And the third one is IBRO. It's uh, iShares Robotics and AI. Here's almost, oh, 100, almost 120 stocks included. Can be also a quite good investment if you want to spread it in more stock than what we discussed in the beginning. So here, I think it's one of the biggest portfolios in different AI stocks. And the last one, from the volume also maybe a little bit smaller, is First Trust Nasdaq Artificial Intelligence and Robotics ETF. We have here 108 stocks included from this volume and from the chart. They look all um, similar, what I told you in the beginning. And if you still think it's not a good price level at the moment, and I want to buy it maybe a little bit cheaper than what you can see here on the screen, we can give you one good example how to do this with options, especially if we see here the Global X Robotics um, ETF. At the moment, the price is um, $28.44. Let's say I want to buy this at $26 in the next few weeks. We can check here yeah put option on 26 dollars will give me at the moment 20 dollars um, premium and as soon as the price goes below the, below this 26 dollars um, you are able to purchase the etf for 26 dollars and the time you're waiting for it you will still get revenue so if you think okay 26 dollars it's uh, too far the price will not go below it we can also play the whole thing a little bit different. We can go to $28, uh, for example. So for $28, I get $67 premium for a time of, um, yeah, this is six weeks here. So in total, if I deduct this from my entry price, I will still get it at $27.33. Still a very good entry price and especially Comparing to just set a limit order and wait till the price falls below a certain level, it's always a very good opportunity to do this here with short put options. And if you want to know more about this strategy, how to get good entry prices uh, via option trading, just check the links in the description or our website. There's much more information about um, everything related to option trading. Yeah, I really hope this was uh, helpful for you to get an overview about our stocks, what we recommend related to artificial intelligence, also about the ETFs. But for the stocks, I want to give you also my ranking when we want to see it from the risk um, side. So I think from the risk side, the best is still Alphabet, um, then Amazon and Meta. NVIDIA, about the movement from the last uh, weeks at the moment, I think it's in a very high level, so the risk is uh, quite high comparing to all the other stocks what we presented here. But all the details, as many more information, you also find in the description, and I will hope to see you soon. Just don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and um, see you next time. Thank you very much.